This video instruction shows how to connect phones and tablets to CAPS karaoke players, in particular the fourth generation players such as JB199-4 Online, JB199 Mini 2, and Play CDG Online. The fourth generation players are the CAPS latest development with a built-in web server inside each player. They have the advantage that the phones and tablets can connect without downloading or installing the apps. Note that we do not use or assume internet access in this instruction. Although internet is widely available, it may not be allowed by the venues such as bars and restaurants to use the service for reasons of safety or security. We thus assume no internet and demonstrate using only a local network. To connect the phones and tablets. To set up a local network, simply connect the CAPS karaoke player to a wireless router. The connection between the CAPS karaoke player and the router can be a LAN cable or wireless. Note that when using a LAN cable, connect to a LAN port in the router, not a WAN port. WAN port is reserved for an internet source. Having a router connected, it is next important to find the SSID, which is also called the Wi-Fi name, and the password of the router. To do this, you look at the bottom of the router for a label with the information. Here we see two SSIDs, one for 2.4G connection and another for 5G connection. Note that the SSID and password information on the label is valid if the router has the factory default setting. That is, there has not been any manual change to the router. If there has been a change, you need to reset the router. The reset procedure is typically to press and hold the reset button on the back of the router for 5 to 7 seconds. The detailed reset instruction should be in the router's user manual. Next, we need to find the IP address of the CAVS karaoke player assigned by the router. To do this, we go to the JB199-4 player. In the customer interface, you can see the IP address at the URL address field. You can also see the IP address in the control panel by going to Tools, Settings, and server and browser. You can see the IP address including the port number 5000. Now we have a local network set up and all information needed. Next we open a phone. The first step is to connect the Wi-Fi of the phone to the local network router. Here we know the SSID to be FIOS-DZC9C and the password to be XXX. Inputting the password is blocked in the recording. Note that when the router is connected, it also shows that there is no internet. Next, we open a browser. Here we have three browsers, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Safari. We first open the Google Chrome. Type in the IP address of the CAVS karaoke player, which is 192.168.1.151 colon 5000. Press enter. The customer interface of the JB199-4 appears. Click on title. Scrolling down, select the song. Next, input your name and preset the pitch and tempo. Click on Q to reserve. Next, click on Return button. Press Play. You will see the lyrics on the screen. Click on the Mute button at the top for sound. While playing a song, you can also change the pitch and tempo of the song.
Let's start to stop the play. Next, we try the Microsoft Edge. Open the Microsoft Edge. Input the IP address of the Cavs karaoke player, 192.168.1.151 colon 5000. Press Enter. You will see the same customer interface. Select the song as before, reserve, and play. Also click on the mute button for the sound. While a song is in play, you can continue to select the song. Click on title, then click on an artist. You will see all the songs performed by the artist. Select the song as before and return. You will see the song currently in play. You can press next to play the next selected song. stop to stop the play next we open apple safari again input the ip address of the Cavs karaoke player the customer interface will appear Select the song and reserve. Return to the home page and press play. And again, press the mute button for the music. What we have shown is that any browser can be used to open the customer interface of the Cavs karaoke player. So any device with a browser, whether it is an iPhone, iPad, Android phone, Android tablet, Windows phone or Windows tablet and even laptops can connect to the Cavs karaoke player using its browser. This is the advantage of the Cavs karaoke player that are fourth generation with built-in server. Next, we address the two concerns in connecting the phones and tablets to Cavs karaoke players. The first is to set the Wi-Fi of the phone or tablet to the local network router the router that the Cavs carrier player is connected to. As shown before, this requires selecting a correct SSID followed by inputting a password. The password can be long and can be not so easy to type in. In the same line, the second concern is the step to input the IP address of the Cavs carrier player after opening a browser in the phone or tablet. The IP address requires an exact format and that can be difficult, especially for non-technical customers. A solution for both concerns is to use QR codes. That is, a QR code can be generated to set or change the Wi-Fi automatically when it is read by a phone or tablet. A QR code can also be made to input an IP address automatically when it is read by a phone or tablet. 
To demonstrate this, we go online and search for a QR code generator. There are many that are free online. We select one and choose Wi-Fi. Input the SSID, the Wi-Fi name, and the password of the local network router. Click on Generate, and you have the QR code. Next, using any graphic editor, which, you, which we use here, the Snagit, copy the QR code and save. Going back to the QR code generator, this time we select URL. Here we input http colon slash slash 192.168.1.151 colon 5000, which is the IP address of the Cavs karaoke player. Note that we have put in the header http colon slash slash in front of the IP address. This is not necessary, but some old phones and tablets require the header when reading an IP address. Again, using a graphic editor, we copy the QR code and save. Next, to show how the QR code works, we open the saved copies of the QR codes for Wi-Fi and the IP address. Next, open a phone. Let's make sure the Wi-Fi setting in the phone is off. Now use the camera in the phone to scan the QR code. First is the Wi-Fi QR code. You can see that Wi-Fi details are captured in the phone. Click on the captured code and select join. Next, scan the QR code of the IP address. Click on the captured code and here is the customer interface. Here, the phone had to simply scan two QR codes to get the customer interface. There was no inputting of the Wi-Fi password or the IP address. You can print out the QR codes, perhaps laminate them, and put them on the table for the customer. This ends our video instruction.